Hey guys, prominent civil rights advocacy group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horiwa, has lambasted President Bola Metunubu for creating a separate ministry other than agriculture and rural development and name it Ministry for Livestock Development. The right group said the president was simply rewarding the terrorist under the banner of Mieti Allah, whose members have terrorized farmers and killed, maimed, and destroyed farmers, their farms, land, and housing assets all over Nigeria. Tinubu's government has, by, its act, by this action of illegally caving out a federal ministry for cattle breeders, granted a seal of approval to all the violence and armed headers unleashed on farmers just as the right group demanded that President Bola Tinubu should compensate farmers for the death and loss from the destruction of their crops and farmland that they, the farmers, suffered in the hands of armed Fulani herdsmen, who have now been donated a federal ministry for livestock, which is a cover for rewarding the terrorism of Fulani herders guilty of killing farmers. Oriwa described the action of government as reckless, insensitive, ruthlessly, irresponsible, provocative, and dangerous. Uriwa recalled that the president, Bola Tinubu, on Tuesday announced the creation of a new ministry of livestock development in what is portrayed as a bold move to stop the reoccurring clashes between herders and farmers resulting in destruction of lives and property across the country. He said, these presents a unique opportunity to de delineate and establish a separate place for the main ministry called the, the Ministry of Livestock Development. We will develop the economy, give people the opportunity to essay. Our vet doctors can give us the necessary opportunity to rear cross-breeding and stop the wanton killings. Even animal feed is a huge economy. Speaking at the inauguration of the Renewed Hope Livestock Reform Implementation Committee at the Council Chambers of the State House, Abuja, the President explained that the creation of the new ministry was square to the recommendation of the Presidential Panel on reform of livestock industry set up to provide long-term solution to constant clashes between farmers and herders in September 2023. He said, the far-reaching recommendation in their report informed our decision to constitute the inaugurate this presidential committee on the implementation of livestock reforms and seeks the great opportunity to better the life of our people rather than the conflict-promoted agenda. It is our renewed hope, and I believe that hope is here, trying to see a great opportunity for wealth in a situation that is very conducive. I must mention here that I have discussed a number of occasions with the governors the need to seize this opportunity, let's run with it from here. President Tinubu also said his administration would adopt the recommendation of ranching by the committee, Oriwa, whose, which commended the creation of the livestock ministry as a waste of public funds to advance the private businesses of the cattle grazing population dominated by the Fulani, stated that it is all constitutional since that policy is signing out a, a particular line of trade for special treatment by the government, deploying public funds 
whereas the same government that claimed to be solving the so-called conflicts between the farmers who are usually at the receiving end of vicarious violent attacks and the headers who are usually armed full and headers and are the aggressors terrorizing farmers with their cattle. Oriwa says, Tinubu rewarding terrorism by creating ministry for livestock. The right group asks why Tinubu did not create another distinct this distinct ministry for farmers, but instead has diverted public funds to support one ethnic group whose members are largely cattle breeders in Nigeria. Oriwa also carpeted the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for failing to go after armed Fulani terrorists masquerading as herdsmen who have killed thousands of Nigerians. But instead, the government has perfected plans to reward terrorism of the armed headers. Uriwa said it was shocking that at a time, the government should be than sizing government to save costs of governance. Tinubu has rather embarked on the wide course chase of placating terrorists who are armed headers. So sad. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.